Dang. <laughs> All right, this is a, a new segment I'm going to try out called Studio One Six Tidbits. And these are just going to be short little videos with specifics in mind. So uh, there was a question in the main group about... Um, about the range tool and selecting parts. I'm going to go through a couple of things as far as the tools to use. And then I will also go through um, some of the things to watch for when you have things zoomed in or zoomed out. So it should be pretty cool. So if you uh, could, I'd appreciate it if you'd like this video and subscribe to my channel. You can also become a member. Uh, there are three super affordable levels. So please uh, check it out and see if you want to support the channel. All right, so here we are in the classroom, and you can see I have a WAV file here. Let me close the tempo. I don't need that up there. All right, we got a, just a, a little riff here from one of the sound sets. A little louder than I expected. All right, so uh, one of the things that people like to do is they like to be able to use keyboard shortcuts. So this kind of integrates a little bit of mousing and a keyboard shortcut to do this. So if you are looking up here and you click on this uh, bracket right here, and you can see that it unlinks the range tool with this arrow tool. Okay, so now what that means is, first of all, you need to be pretty well zoomed in. If you've got a little a uh, little track like this, you're not going to be able to get the benefits out of that. So you got to be zoomed in a little bit. All right, so you can see here that if I bring the mouse down, I'm the arrow tool. If I bring the mouse up, I'm the range tool. The amount of the selection is based on how zoomed in you are, as well as uh, some of the quantine quantized rates. It depends on the zoom level. So if you find you really can't get an exact part of the WAV file, then just turn the snap off. And now you are free to zoom in as slowly as you want to. You can zoom in really. Or you can select, I mean, as carefully as you want to, as long as the snapping is turned off. All right, so now the cool thing about this is, is you can go ahead and use the uh, you can use the range tool to select a part and then use the arrow tool to drag it out. Just like that. You can also, if you do this drag out after the selection, and I believe it is the I believe it is the alt key. If you push the alt key and you drag it out, it will actually make a copy of that portion without actually adding any lines to that. All right. So you can actually select parts, bring them out, and if you use the Alt key, and it's the, also the Option key on the Mac, you can actually bring that out there and not ruin your actual waveform. All right, so remember the zoom level, and you got two tools. Now there's a cool little addition to this. I'm going to click on the bracket, and if you look at this little arrow right here and you drop this down, whoops, let's see if I can do this. Bang, there you go. You can now link a third tool using the uh, using the control key as a keyboard option. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose the erase tool. So now, not only do I have, if I click on the bracket and link the arrow with the range tool, I have another tool if I hit the control key. I'm sorry, I, on a Mac, it's the command key. <laughs> there we go. So I can go ahead and with the range tool, I can select a part, I can hold the command key, and I can erase that part. Whoa, actually, that didn't work that way. You guys see that? You can't use the eraser for, for erasing that part. So can I do it this way and delete? Oh, that's interesting. That's actually good. Th I'm glad that happened because you guys got to see it. So, <laughs> so command Z. There we go. So now it is still whole. So one one thing you can't do is you can't drag this across. Now, see, I sh I should always test before I do these videos. And if I click the command and I use the erase, it erases the whole damn thing. <laughs> All right. So what we're gonna do here is you can use the range tool and you can use the delete key to delete parts. Command Z. 
yeah, you should do uh, the video over, but eh, heck with it. All right, so here I'm going to see if it works with the cut or the split tool. Watch this. All right. So I can make a range. I can go ahead and drag that range out, or I can hit the command key and I can make cuts. Okay, so this part works. So it's just a, it's just a thing with the erase tool. It's just gonna be able to erase the whole thing. So it works with the split tool. Good information to have. Let's see, does it work with the, let's see, the listen tool. Let's see if it works with the listen tool. So you can see, let me actually go back. Da, 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 da. There we go. Oops. There we go. So let's see, it works with the range tool. It works with the arrow. And if I want to listen to this part, I hit command. It works. <laughs> there you go. So it's just the erase tool that has that anomaly. And of course, I pick the one with the anomaly before I test. <laughs> that makes sense. All right. So this is, like I said, the combo tool. You can hit, click on the bracket. You can link the arrow to the range tool plus a third by hitting the command uh, key on a Mac or the control key on a PC. And you can link any of these other tools to it, except for the erase tool. <laughs> You can link it if you want, but it's going to erase the whole darn thing. So there you go. I hope that you guys found that helpful, and I'll see you all in the next video.